I'm Frank Monteleone. Sure. I'm Frank Monteleone from Long Beach, New York. Okay. I'm John Monteleone from Old Brookville, New York. Okay. No, I'm just here. Here you go. Well, what's the uh, name of your film and what is it about? Valley of the Moon. It's uh, a story of a misfit architect who ends up taking an overnight bus trip and is challenged with the dilemma of his life. Um, which, what, what role did you each play in the well, I was the director and um, went through a grueling first uh, directorial debut with all the foibles and everything, and um, and he's the writer. I was the writer and executive producer. Okay. Um, what made you decide to um, apply to the, uh, the Expo this year? Huh? Oh, oh, go ahead. You go. Oh, no. oh, we're Long Islanders by heart. We were born and raised in Long Island. We've known of the Expo, and this is our first short film. So we're very eager to participate in, the, in this festival, and we're glad and, and thankful to be in, and it uh, looks like a great time. Okay. What do you want? So uh, have you had a chance to talk to the other filmmakers about um, their past experience in the Expo? What do people say about the Expo? Well, actually, a lot of people have really, uh, you know, a lot to say about the Expo. They're saying it's getting a lot of industry interest, and a couple of people have been to... Um, LA and they're like, oh, okay, they know about the Long Island Film Expo. Um, I think um, there's a lot of really good films, I mean, from the festival circuit that we've been doing. And coming here, some of the same films have been playing there, are playing here, and we know those films have reputation. So, uh, you know, it, it, I think the quality speaks for itself. I mean, there's a lot of uh, talented, talented artists. Uh, um, you know, producing really great work. We've we've participated in this. It will be our fifth uh, film festival. Sixth, sixth, I think. Sixth. Actually, then we're going into our sixth next week. But the network of filmmakers out there. Uh, this is a very well-known film festival for net, uh, film fe filmmakers all across the country. So it's well known. It's well regarded. It's well run. Uh, so it's it makes us proud that this is happening all around. Um, it's good to have a homegrown uh, you know, festival. Absolutely. Yeah. You really don't want to say expo. Festival and expo are two different ones. Exactly. Like kind of yeah. Um, so, uh, how did you guys find it? Well, I think you should answer that one. <laughs> Since he's the executive producer, I think that would be good for him. Uh, we, we were looking initially to find secondary financing, but we decided that because of the time frame and how quickly we wanted to get uh, the film completed, uh, we self-financed it. Basically, it was from my pocket, but a lot of contribution from uh, friends and family. And, uh, where, where exactly you, uh, we filmed on Long Island. We filmed in Glen Cove. Uh, the majority of the film uh, was shot across from the Glen Cove Mansion, and then the uh, scene where the bu where our bus finally arrives in Chicago, we used uh, the downtown Glen Cove area to represent Chicago. Uh, the whole film takes place in Omaha and Chicago, but we shot entirely in Long Island, and uh, only a few places did they catch that. Yeah. So, actually, when we screened the film in Omaha, people said, wow, we wish Omaha looked like this. But like, well, a lot of people don't realize that Long Island is really beautiful, you know, and there's so much, you know, I mean, that's why there's a lot of movies that are shot here, so we got a lot of great shots from it. Yeah. Um, how long did it take to work like this? Well, we had a couple of, a uh, couple of snafus, a couple of problems. We had, uh, you know, typical filmmaker problems where things break down, and uh, we had to do a real guerrilla filmmaking shoot. We shot the whole film. Edit, uh, about 26 hours, uh, edited down to 10 minutes worth of film, which was we probably you know 26 hours worth of footage and editing it down to 10 minutes was pretty grueling. I think the crew was happy that we were done. We're like, okay, we're done. That's it. You know, and they're like, well, we got to get one more shot. It's the full moon. We got to get that. You know, but uh, so it was a 26 yeah. hour shoot over the period of three days, but. In reality, it was in the end of Friday and through Saturday and yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And, and grueling, uh, we actually filmed a little bit uh, under weekend. a year ago here in Long Island, July. It was one of the hottest weekends that summer. Yeah. So, yeah. So our actors were sweating and probably lost about 10 pounds because I had them jumping up and running around. But, but it's good. It kept know. with the theme. Yeah. So it was good. Kept with the theme. It was good. Um, 
Last question. What would you say is the most, one of the most rewarding aspects of making a film that was well, first, I mean, just having the experience to create art is the most rewarding experience. I mean, film is the most powerful medium. My background is painting, and it's nice to do a painting and then have people see it, but with a film, more people see it. So the most rewarding experience is having a collaborative effort, having something creative, and putting it out into the universe. And hopefully it's something positive. Um, that's very rewarding. You know, just having somebody see it, that's all the icing on the cake. So the most rewarding part for me is to be able to participate in anything creative, and especially a film, and seeing the result is great. And then having people enjoy it, and hopefully raising the vibration. We always say we want to be in the enlightenment business instead of the entertainment business. So where you could do a film that's entertaining, but at the same time maybe help and um, you know showcase something that hasn't been showcased before. Our film particularly deals, deals with a disease or an ailment, and we want to showcase that in a positive way. So that's also been very rewarding for me. What about for you? As a writer, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, I call it multiple levels of rewarding, but the first level is when you actually conceptualize everything that's going to happen. You create characters, you create structure, you create plot, and then you sit back and watch as all these people, which is a collaborative process, all pour their energy into making what you know, which were ideas that just ran around in your mind come to life and they give them life and that's one level of reward. And I was very contentious at that point. And then of course then the second level of content which is when people enjoy it and they think what you did was nice and they really uh, acknowledge and give you praise. So, you know, it's very enjoyable. It's, uh, it's enjoyable to create art that other people appreciate. Great. You guys gave me a